Shoulder injuries are commonly seen with logging truck drivers. It is often associated with the loading of the shoulder when throwing wrappers, handling chains, cinching down wrappers, using the stamp hammer, operating a pike pole, or slipping when getting in and out of the truck. There are three common shoulder injuries, shoulder impingement, rotator cuff strains and tears, and long head of bicep strains. Shoulder impingement occurs when the rotator cuff tendons and the bursa are pinched between the bone on the upper part of the arm and the bony roof of the shoulder. This can result in pain when lifting the arm above 90 degrees, some weakness associated with the pain and a possible loss of shoulder range. Drivers report pain on the top of the shoulder which may radiate down into the upper arm. This may be associated with a grinding or popping sound. It can be painful to lie on that side. Pain is reproduced with lifting the arm and forcing the shoulder backwards. There are two main reasons why impingement occurs. If the shoulder girdle is rounded forward in a slouched or protracted position, the space between the arm and the bony roof is reduced. In the slouched position, if the arm is elevated, the pinching is reproduced. Setting the shoulder girdle back and down creates more space and allows a fuller range of movement without this pinch. The second reason is that the arm is elevated directly to the side of the worker, commonly seen when throwing wrappers. In this side position, the muscles are also more likely to be impinged. Elevating the arm slightly forward allows the arm to be lifted to a greater height with less pinching. See the wrapper task specific resource for an in-depth look at throwing wrappers. Treatment of shoulder impingement includes reducing the inflammation using ice and anti-inflammatories, adapting the technique to reduce pinching by keeping the shoulder blades back and down when working above shoulder height. Tape is a useful tool to reinforce the shoulder blade position. Stretching the posterior capsule and mobilizing the upper back allows the shoulder girdle to sit better and strengthening the muscles around the rotator cuff and shoulder blade help to spread the load and reduce impingement. See the accompanying resources for specifics on the treatment of inflammation, stretching, strengthening, and taping. Rotator cuff muscles hold the ball into the socket, reducing impingement and providing rotational stability. Tears can occur from repeated impingement and they can occur gradually over time or they may occur acutely with a sudden or quick movement. Early identification is key to prevent further injury. Significant tears may require surgery. Workers will describe a pain on the top of the shoulder which can radiate down into the arm. When lifting, they are likely to hitch or shrug their shoulder. When resisting the lifting of the arm with the thumb pointing downwards, the worker will be weak. This can be painful with partial tears and gross weakness is seen with full thickness tears. Causes of rotator cuff tears include repetitive impingement as discussed earlier. Repetitive impingement can thin out the rotator cuff leading to tears. Other causes include overreaching and generating force with poor body mechanics. If the shoulders are rounded and the head forward, more load is placed on the rotator cuff. This is seen when pulling on cinches to secure loads, when picking up and placing chains onto the truck tires, and when using a pike pole to lower the trailer bunks. Care needs to be taken when using hammers to stamp logs or loosen frozen chains. Shoulder blade position is also important. Sudden loading of the shoulder can also cause acute tears. This is seen with unexpected force placed on the shoulder. Watch footing when climbing into or getting out of the truck. Slippery surfaces can cause a driver to slip, causing a sudden force on the shoulder. When throwing wrappers, if the tail of the wrapper is stuck, then this force can cause a sudden tearing. When handling chains, if a link is stuck, trying to lift the whole chain off the rack can cause a sudden loading. As with impingement, treatment of rotator cuff tears or strains includes ice, anti-inflammatories, and tape to unload the rotator cuff. Prevention is best. Alter your technique to reduce pinching. Strengthen the rotator cuff and the scapular stabilizers, and take care with risky activities. See task-specific resources for more in-depth information on throwing wrappers and placing chains. 
Workers should see a doctor or physiotherapist if a rotator cuff tear is suspected. The long head of biceps tendon sits in the front of the shoulder and crosses both the shoulder and the elbow. Workers describe a pain at the front of the shoulder. It may have a popping or flicking sensation with the front of the shoulder and weakness may be associated with the pain. Pain is reproduced with an upwards force of the arm with the palm facing upwards. This injury is caused from two main tasks. Overthrowing the wrappers without scapular stability causing the arm to be tractioned at the shoulder. This pulls on the bicep tendon. Handling chains with the shoulders rounded and pushed forward with the palms up overloads the bicep tendon at the shoulder. Setting the shoulder blades back and down and using the correct technique will help to unload the bicep tendon. Treatment includes the same as with rotator cuff and impingement with the addition of a bicep strengthening exercise. See the resources for strengthening and stretching.